Now, I'm very excited to introduce our first guest for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. She has a memorable face in many Australian classics, and you may remember her from uh, this clip right here. Have a look. I'm the big boss! I wouldn't give it a nickname. You've got attached to it, by Hold this. Oh, well, hold it! <gasps> oh! Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the library, please welcome Ross Hammond! Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Ros. Hi. Thanks so much for coming. Pleasure. Oh, it's great to have you here. Now, um, before we get started, I just need to talk. We talked about this uh, backstage before we started. Now, uh, we're friends on Facebook. We've been friends on Facebook for a while, uh, and you've actually like you know you've liked some of my statuses, and you've actually left comments on my status, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, you might. Uh, nothing back. Yeah, yeah. We're, nothing back. Nothing. I was okay because this is the thing. I've never met Roz before tonight, okay, and I'm I've, I've I've I adore Roz Hammond, and I'm just there going. She's actually commenting on my Facebook status. Watch it. I made a comment about like uh, Jaws 3D being on TV late one night. Oh yeah, I've got an exciting life. <laughs> and I look there and Roz Hammond has left a comment. You know I didn't, because I shat myself with fear, because I didn't know what to do. But you know, I thought the best way to meet you is in front of a live audience. So, <laughs> so nice one, <laughs> yeah. So um, you're currently at the moment, uh, you're on uh, Mad as Hell, yes. which is showing on the ABC uh, at eight o'clock, just before our show. So you can watch uh, Mad as Hell. Um, and you're working again with your longtime collaborator, uh, Sean McCullough? Yes. And uh, would you like to tell us a bit about what uh, Mad as Hell is all about? So topical news weekly, um, not quite a satire on news, but, you know, sketch element, uh, but Sean at the desk and, you know, great fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now you uh, started out uh, in Whopper. Yes. In Whopper, all the way in Western Australia. So you're a uh, Western Australian native? I am. And what brought you all the way over here? Um, work. Like, there's no work. <laughs> no work? No one's in staying in Well, I mean, you know, unless you're a fly-in, fly-out actor. But, um, yeah, no, no acting work, so. And uh, you, you hit the ground running pretty much when you came uh, over here. Uh, I'm really excited. Like, you, 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 your big, big break was Muriel's Wedding, obviously. But I was more excited about it. Before that, you did Newlyweds. Oh, I did too. I, I love Newlyweds. <laughs> Newlyweds, if you don't know Newlyweds, look it up. It was an awesome, like, you know, Aussie sitcom when we actually used to do sitcoms. And it had Libby Gore in it and stuff like that. And you yeah, are, so yeah. It was in front of a live audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was really excited. So yeah, yeah, Muriel's Wedding, you know, changed the face of... Did you, when you were doing Muriel's Wedding, did you know how, like, important that film would be? Because it's like a modern classic. Oh, yeah. from the first reading, just went, oh my God, I have to be in this. It's so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and everyone knew working on it, it kind of had that feel of... This so is going to be a classic. So yeah. was that vibe going around? Definitely. Yeah. Now, um, when you trained uh, at Whopper, did you specifically want to get into comedic work, or were you? No, to I be kept a getting those roles, but I did want to be a Shakespearean actor. Because you did tell me you're, you're named uh, you're named after uh, Rosaline or Ros Rosaline from uh, As You Like It. Yes. So, um, so what were, were your comic influences or your comic uh, inspirations when you were growing up? Lucy. Yeah, Lucille Ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and uh, so, you, have you? Have, the DVD generation has made fans can like pick up everything. Have you got? Have you gone all hardcore and collected all the I Love Lucy DVDs and stuff? I'm not a big viewer. Oh, really? Yeah. So no, you, like I, I have childhood memories and stuff like that. But these days, I'm not a kind of. You're a doer, not a watcher. Yeah, and I am partnered with a man who watches so much freaking sport. Oh, really? <laughs> to get. To watch anything is just, I don't even try. Now, any sport in particular or just Soccer. any sport? Soccer? Yeah. <sighs> the world game. The world game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so, well, you're calling it soccer, not football. So that means your, does, does, does your man call it football or is he yeah, call it soccer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be football. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, so you, you did three seasons of uh, the McAuliffe program and you're like, you know, you're pretty much Sean McAuliffe's go-to uh person and you've worked with Sean McAuliffe and uh, Francis Greenslate. Now, uh, how is it working with those giants of, of uh, Australian comedy? Great. I mean, you know, Sean is A, the most delightful man, so kind and so generous and stuff, but just so naturally just hilarious. Now, is that, does that grate on you? Does that get a bit... You're just, you're just too funny. Just calm down. Could you just be a bit normal? No, no, he's not like one of them. He's not oh, like one of those kind he's of. He's not on all the time. No, no, he's not on all hey, the time. Hey, you've got a gag. Hoo, ha, ha. Yeah, no, no, no. Thank God. Hey, hey, hey. No, because hey. those people get very yeah. trying. But yeah. um, no, he's just you know, but smart, funny as well. 
Smart. Oh, oh, I know. Oh. Smart, funny as and well. And then you say something, you know, you try and join in on a joke and just go, oh, God, I was so lame. He was so funny and I was so lame. You still, like, you've, you've been working with him for like, what, how? 15 15 years. years. So you started when you were 15 with him, obviously. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, that's, that's it. I was a child. You were a child. Um, so, but you still do those moments of going, oh, damn it. Oh, oh yeah, I, I say stupid things. I said something, a real clanger yesterday, and I just walked away thinking. <laughs> that sounds like a lead-in. Uh, what type of clanger? No. Oh, the, you want nah, to tell the clanger? Nah. Okay, right here. Now, we were, talk, we were talking uh, a little bit about movies, and I want to talk about this because I haven't seen Prometheus yet. And you went and saw Prometheus, and tell me, what did you do, Ros Hammond, when you went and saw Prometheus? Oh, I walked out. You walked out of Prometheus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why yeah. did you walk out of Prometheus? Because there was no script and it was so annoying and I'd been so excited to see it and then, you know, just got exponentially cranky at how bad it was. Now, if you could do, if you could do like your own like Ros Hammond driven movie, what type of genre would you be? Would you, would you do sci-fi? Would you do comedy? What type of genre would you? No, like I'd be like horror. A horror? Yeah. What type of horror movie? So like, I, I'd be like a crazy, <laughs> uh, yeah, scary. Uh, like is it, like is eight, eight, eight spooky characters. Is it, is it wrong I'm not scared by that, but it kind of turned on a bit? <laughs> that's the idea. It's that kind of horror. Oh, so that's horror that's slash. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all learned something about ourselves tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You've learned a bit too much about me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ros Hammond, round of applause. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm I've, uh, I've been scared and aroused at the same time. Thank you very much. Now, we've got a viewer comment already. Can we get a viewer comment? I do believe the act of running naked through a nunnery is called a nunnery. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, you can catch Roz on ABC at 8 p.m. every Friday night before you tune into Channel 31 and watch the fabulous Bowen Street and watch the awesome uh, Mad as Hell. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Roz Hammond. <laughs> We'll be right back after these short messages. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. The very funny Simon Taylor joins us. Plus, live music from 10,000. You're watching Live on Bowen.